Hi, I'm Cyclone. This is my guide how to make currency in Skirk League. So let's start for the beginners for the easy part. The first thing obviously is just play the league. If you play Scourge in red tier maps, about let's say every 50 maps so far, sometimes longer, sometimes shorter, we found a Scourge boss. Now they drop a lot of rares or uniques. Let's say those are just shards and not good. Let's take a look at the consistent part. They do drop Scourge currency. Now yesterday we found two bosses and got a total of seven tainted orb of fusings, which are profitable because there is a way to make easy six link with those, which I will come into in a bit. The other currencies aren't really pricey yet, but the moment somebody finds a way to abuse them, they will skyrocket. Maybe the Tainted Exalted Orb or the Tainted Mystic Orb have a way to guarantee uh, up the proper result. And the moment that happens, they're going to be a lot more pricey and they can also drop from the Scourge bosses. So of course, just playing the Scourge League is good. Now, another thing how the Scourge is going to make currency is literally just, it is a secondary map. Whenever you run one map, you have a second one, assuming you can clear it. Now that is for the playing part, but now how to make more currency on top of just playing it. Well, let's take a look at the Crucible. Either with the Tainted Fusing Orbs or with the Crucible, with this node here, Stitch Wounds, we have a 15% chance to link a socketed item. The technique, so the theory is, we put a 6 socket item, like this one, but it has 5 links, so it would be everything except one is linked in the Crucible, and then we scourge it. Eventually, it's going, hopefully of course, it's going to six link. Now you can do that with uniques and try to sell them, but a lot of people already do that. Also, in this case, if it's five socket, you can use the tainted fusing orbs. We don't know at this point anymore if it's a 50-50 chance, or if it's, uh, it's got nerfed, got gutted, because Elisha made a video about it. So you will have to test it out yourself. But let's say now everybody made six links, they're not worth anything anymore. Now we come to the next stage. A six link is instantly a divine orb. So if the spaces aren't worth anything, take any five socket, six socket five link, put it in there, scourge it one, two, three times, hope it gets six link. If it gets six link, you got a divine. Let's take it a step further. Now divines aren't worth anything anymore. Well, that sucks. But then you can just use the divine on a unique to get it, or on your rares to get as perfect work as possible. Because if those aren't worth anything, you can get perfect uh, stat uniques, which then should be worth something. Then because those will get taken out of the uh, out of the market because people are going to scourge it or corrupt it to get even better mods on them. So in this case, at any stage, either you can sell pricey six links for several exalted orbs or six things are cheap okay so you make divines and use those on pricey uniques because at this stage those will always be pricey a perfect stat unique is always good and it doesn't matter at what stage of the league so this is the idea of using tainted orbs or the furnace now let's take in the potential min max of scourge Let's say we have the Scourged maps. Now those are fun. At Scourge 10, I haven't tried red map with that yet, but those have quite some nutty modifiers. But they corrupt, so what will we need before? Before you Scourge them, you will need to put them in, roll them maybe with Beyond, maybe with something else. Or you just use maps in Glenarchern. They have Natural Beyond, because then they have your normal map, you have Beyond, and you could put even Alva, but Alva isn't interacting well with Scourge so far, so let's ignore Alva for now. And let's take it a step even further. What if we use Delirium on top? A normal map with Delirium got about 6 to 8. One, when we went for min-maxing those with Beyond and all the Scarabs at 100% daily, the Kenyans, or what did people do as well? Towers, uh, promenades, burial chambers, 
they got up to 12. Now let's say we can't get there anymore. So let's say we have the baseline of 8 reward tiles. We put the beyond on it, maybe we can reach 10 now. And then we double the map. Of course we won't get to 20 with that. But we have maybe, maybe the potential to go back to 12 tiles with a 100% daily map, with beyond, with proper watchstones, with proper scarabs, and a really well world scourge map. So we don't have to worry about the walls. We of course want it to be high quant rare. Maybe we want beyond, maybe we want nemesis on it, because I, as far as I know, we don't have nemesis on the map device. We want Nemesis on mid, get a Nemesis Sextant, get Beyond over here, get Alva for the daily interaction and run the good old daily Scourge, or uh, well 100% daily maps, just that we use Scourge on top. Of course it's also going to be super min max, super risky, super high reward and you will need a proper build for that and I don't know which build will yet will be able to complete it. But this is for the ultimate min mixing. Another alternative you have in Valdos Rest take Cosecrate Delusion, take Escort, and take Blight, I guess. And just run normal maps that have a higher value. Maybe you get Delirium, maybe you don't. Maybe just apply Delirium Orb to it. Those would be like a bit not as min maxed, not as profitable, but more doable. Those are the two regions I see do the very best with Blight. And the reasons are in this area we have Port and Park. Wait, here is Park. And where is Port? Port. Port has an Exo Divination card. It has a Fusing Divination card, which both are always valuable. And. It has Arcade, but I don't know how well Arcade is as a T16. And in Valdo, we got Promenade, an absolute insane map for Delirium. And Scourge, what I realized is you want linear maps. So Port and Promenade are both linear maps. You can, so when you Scourge it, you can either run backwards or you run forwards and makes it super easy to complete the whole map in one go without having to now you need to turn left now you need to turn right now you need to backtrack now you need to do this tiny split corner i think with those setups there's so much potential to use scourge to amplify any currency making that is out there it looks absolutely insane you have in the early six link items get a ton of divines get a ton of tainted currency get a ton of any currency because so many more monsters per map if you are insane you can get up to 200 extra additional quant just from the scourge mechanic and then we got the min maxing part in Valdo or glenark just run insane maps of course, this all depends on the price of Delirium Orbs, if it's actually worth it to run them. But the potential is there. The potential reward is definitely there. With that said, I hope this is helpful. If this was helpful, I would love if you could leave a like or a comment. If it wasn't helpful, leave a comment say why it wasn't. And of course, leave a dislike too, so I know that it wasn't helpful. Wish you all a great day.